Over 1,700 aviation leaders gathered in Rwanda for the 2025 Africa Aviation Summit themed cooperation to unlock Africa's growth potential. The key topic, the transformative potential of the low-altitude drone economy. The star of the show was the EH-216S. Making its historic African debut, it's China's first unmanned electric aircraft with full airworthiness certification. It was a really exciting moment, uh, especially knowing that I'm the first person on the continent that was able, that was able to experience uh, this air taxi flight inside uh, air taxi flights. So, yeah, it's very exciting. It's exciting that it's in my country, in Rwanda. Uh, yeah, and for during the, experience, during the summit of Aviation Africa 2025. So I'm, I'm more than happy to do one more extra flight. The experience was really good. Developed by Chinese tech company Ihang, the EVTOL has a flight range of up to 30 kilometers and top speed of approximately 130 kilometers per hour. It's powered by 16 electric motors mounted on eight arms. Its latest flight in Kigali follows Ihang's successful demonstration of passenger flights in Indonesia in June. You know, we're born from traditional, but we need to change it. China has a, a very complete whole system on aviation, civil aviation areas. As monitored by the government and the uh, Civil Aviation Authority of China, uh, we as, uh, the, uh, as companies like industries, like, like service like operators, uh, we pay very heavy, pay heavy attention, focus on safety. Because safety is a baseline of aviation. Africa accounts for 17% of the world's population, but only 2.2% of global air traffic, highlighting the untapped potential of its low altitude economy. Through initiatives like the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation and the Belt and Road, experts say China is helping Africa bridge this gap. Today is our great honor to partner with Yihang, which is the, the high technology uh, Yveto company. Mm. When we, we have done the, uh, successfully the first uh, uh, demonstration of, uh, of the Yveto in, Af in Africa land, we also have the responsibility to create the bridge, the new bridge between the Chinese innovative company and the African company especially in Rwanda. So we also have the, our recommendation to other, other, other companies who want to invest in Africa. Please come. The summit also showcased other innovations like Zipline's Platform 2 drone designed for urban deliveries. The signs are that Africa's low altitude economy is booming with drones expected to transform everything from logistics and healthcare to agriculture and tourism. Sophia Shimichero, CGTN. Now, for more on the potential of these fully electric autonomous uh, UAVs and the potential to move people and cargo around, Melissa Rusanganwa, the manager of internal cooperation at the Rwanda Civil Aviation Authority, took a ride in this prototype. Here's what she had to say. It was a really exciting moment, uh, especially knowing that I'm the first person on the continent that was able, that was able to experience uh, this air taxi flight inside uh, air taxi flights. So yeah, it's very exciting. It's exciting that it's in my country, in Rwanda. Uh, yeah, and for during the experience, during the summit of Aviation Africa 2025. So I'm, I'm more than happy to do one more extra flight. The experience was really good. But uh, in general, I think it's something that uh, would be useful uh, for not only Rwanda, but the continent as well. Uh, it's something that we could see that could benefit in terms of uh, logistics, in terms of connecting people in different cities, in different regions, uh, and also across the continent as well. The Evito on its own is really good. It's a, uh, I, I felt safe. Uh, the good thing was that we were briefed in terms of safety before going on board. Uh, everything is clear. Uh, you, uh, it's basically good being like uh, in a car. I had my seat belt on and I was able to remove my seat belt on. I put my seat belt on before driving and then after driving. So it's, it's, just, it's similar. This is definitely, a, a, everyone is talking about these new technologies globally. Um, it's to see such, such a cutting edge uh, drone that can do passenger uh, movement is something that is um, 
that we're all going to be talking about for the next couple of years as being the first aircraft that has been certified in 2025, I believe. Um, and I think these are something that can be useful for the continent as well. Um, I could see this happening in terms of doing sightseeing around the country. Uh, let's say, for example, you, ki you leave Kigali, you want to go and see the gorillas, or even going to the, um, uh, the different parks that we have around the country. So you, you have uh, that flight, you do maybe a 10 to 15 minutes flight, you get to where you're supposed to go. So it's basically part of the tourist, tourism um, sector of the country. But beyond even that, I could also see this being a, a cargo delivery as well, and uh, connecting the different uh, places of the country to be able to, to deliver goods across the country.